the WooCommerce error with WordPress. Um, this is actually using two extensions from WooCommerce itself found on the WooCommerce store. The first one is product add-ons. Uh, this allows you to do different custom like uh, features on different products. So for example, uh, different sizes, different colors, etc. The other plugin uh, is called Dynamic Pricing. And dynamic pricing allows you to do like bulk orders. So let's say you have a one to five is gonna be one price, but five to 10 is gonna be another, and uh, 20 to 100 is gonna be even a lower price. So you can give bulk deals. Now, what this uh, client came to me uh, with is that uh, they have two different, they have both these plugins installed, but they don't work together which is really frustrating. Um, and the way they want them to work is that when you add an add-on um, and you also add uh, like a bulk amount of products, it should still add the differences to each one while still giving the bulk pricing. And the way it was working is it just wasn't. And I'll show a little example. So here's some demo prices, and you can see that they have quantity pricing, uh, where they have one to four is at 116, and you have 74. So let's add 10 products, just so we can make it easy. So this one would be, just add a zero to each one. And let's do the plus 10. So this should theoretically be 100 dollars more than what you're going to be paying. Let's just add this to cart and we'll see what happens. Now you can see that it got this price correct because the um, price was originally 116 but it doesn't add the uh, ten dollars to each one of these. This should actually be 84 and the way I know it's supposed to be 84 is if I go over here this was a uh, plus 10 to this 74 and we get 84. Now the other issue with this would be, let's say I add, uh, I'm also gonna do like a size small and let's add three of these. So this is, this is gonna be within here. And I'm also going to make this three update my cart and you can see that um, it got these prices correct and it actually got these prices correct too so we don't have to worry about that error. Um, we just have to make sure that this is adding on uh, $10 for each product whereas this one's adding on two. So this should be a 76 and this should be a 84. Now um, the first, the first thing you like are thinking when you're doing this change is you want to be able to change this in the plugin. But if you change this in the plugin, uh, you're going to have uh, some problems when you do upgrades. So here's how I went about it. And I'm doing this within my, my theme. My theme in this case is called ICE. And I go into function.php and I just went to the bottom of this. Uh, and I lost the space. So you can focus on this. Now, I'm adding an action, and what the action's doing is this is part of uh, WooCommerce itself, and this is going to run a function before um, it calculates the totals. And um, it goes in here and gets the cart. And you guys can read through maybe the WordPress WooCommerce uh, documentation and explain a little bit of what it is. But if not, I can show you a little bit of how this works. I'm going to just do a print R. You can do a var dump as well. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to reload this page. And you can see that now this is var dumped. Now I like to inspect element. And I can see exactly what this is. Now I can go over here and I have my cart object. 
which is cool, the WC or WooCommerce cart. And I can see kind of how all the information is played out. Uh, now you can see that I'm doing a for each. So I'm going to get each one of the cart contents uh, first. And to actually see what this is, is I want to get each one of these. So I go in to this object. Since this is an object, I do a, like a, an arrow kind of thing. And this is an array, and I'm going to get each one of these. The array is titled this, which is the, the key of each item. And you can see there's another one over here. So just to kind of show you a little bit more, um, each one of those values is actually going to be right here. This key is going to be that uh, the key of each one. Now to, to show you, this is going to get the contents of each of the cart items. I'm going to refresh this just so you can you can see it. And you can see now I only have I have two different arrays that are going to be put out. Now <clears throat> we want to get a few things in here. And you can study my code a little bit more. But basically to kind of explain how I did this, um, I first want to get um, I guess actually I don't need the product ID uh, looking back at this, but um, I go in here and I have to get all the add-ons. Now the add-ons, because there might be multiple add-ons that affect the price, we need to get each one of these and then we need to figure out what price to add. So just to kind of show you a little bit of what the add-ons would be is we go in here and we're going to look at the add-ons right here. We only have one add-on. And you can see our add-ons are right here. We have an array of the add-ons. Since there's only one, it's only going to be the, the key of zero. It's going to say all the information. But really, all we care about is this one little price. So we get the price, and we're going to add it to the price. So we have to start it off at zero each time. And right in here, we're going to add this. And what this is going to be doing is for each add-on, it's going to add the price of that specific add-on to the price to add. I then have to go get the price, which is pretty, uh, pretty simple, get the price of the actual product in that add-on. And then I go in and um, add the price and the add-on price. And this is a little bit of a shorthand. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, this is the same as going price plus like this. Same thing. Um, and I then um, I go in and I set the new value of here to the new price that we just defined. Now because this is within this for each, it actually sets the, the value of within this cart object. So now this cart object is now edited and when it finishes this cycle right before the calculated, it calculated the totals, it then um, will refresh everything. And just to refresh it, you can see that um, these are actually reset to different prices now. Um, I've added 10 to this, and I've added 2 to this, uh, and um, it knows that I have to go in and give the same discount overall since it's actually the same product with the same SKU, same ID, etc. Um, but that concludes this tutorial. I hope it helped. Um, I know this is a very frustrating issue. In fact, uh, WooCommerce support wasn't even able to help my client with this. So um, hopefully it can help out some, some people. Talk to you guys soon.